Okay. So all here is a kind of a small cheat sheet on current sensing. Basically, we know that current sensing is used uh, uh, predominantly in our circuits to sense the current that is flowing to the load that is connected to the supply, right? So this current sensing uh, can be done using different techniques. One is using a simple sensor resistor in between and uh, uh, once the voltage is developed, we will give it to an amplifier and then further <coughs> convert that analog value into a digital value and then we process it, right? That is one kind of sensing. And second kind of sensing that is uh, predominantly used is the Hall effect kind of sensing. So where uh, you have a Hall sensor placed and then the Hall sensor gives analog output that is again amplified and then uh, it is converted into a digital. So the post processing of these sensors is the same where there will be an amplifier and then you convert into the digital but actually um, the, the technique that is used for sensing is different. So in some applications of current sensing um, we do need basically isolation. So how does isolation help is if there are large currents that are associated uh, so especially uh, right now we are talking about the EV segments and the power electronic applications that are there from the beginning to sense the currents. So these uh, uh, sensing requires isolation. Um, that means the point where we sense and then where we get the analog voltage, these need to be sent, uh, isolated so that any effects that are there uh, um, on these high-speed paths should not impact our uh, low-level digital electronics. So that's the intention. So uh, in that case, we have again uh, sensors can be classified into isolated and non-isolated. So um, in high power applications, we prefer uh, isolated. These are generally uh, costly sensors compared to the non-isolated uh, sensors. So if we see the current sensing applications that are there and uh, we use a, a ready-made ICs, which includes everything inside that chip, the amplifier that we are talking um, and uh, uh, corresponding circuitry around it will be inside the chip. Only sense resistor need to be selected outside and placed. So if you see here, we have two types of sensing um, in the resistor based current sensing itself. Uh, one is called low side current sensing where <coughs> the sensor is placed um, after the load. Uh, so this is uh, low side current sensing and the one you see here this is a high side current sensing okay so where um, we have sensor uh, sensor resistor above the load and then we sense uh, um, the voltage and then amplify it and measure the voltage or uh, give it to a microcontroller and then process accordingly so that's how we do so these two types of uh, um, current sensing and this is a diagram of hall sensing where uh, we have a <coughs> conductor and a magnetic core around it um, which uh, uh, where we have um, a, a amplifier hall effect sensor uh, in, um, in the air <coughs> gap of this magnetic core and then uh, we get the voltage out of this Hall sensor. So this is uh, about the Hall effect current sensing and where the sensor is placed. Now if you look at the differences between these two sensors, um, so uh, the principle definitely we know uh, resistor sensing is more about uh, voltage across. Current, uh, the Hall effect sensing is basically uh, the magnetic field uh, um, induction um, which is uh, uh, which produces a voltage basically on uh, induces current and then we uh, get the voltage output out of the Hall sensor IC that is there. So the current flow that goes through this particular uh, um, <coughs> conductor, um, the output that we read from the Hall sensor is a voltage. So we we actually uh, read the magnetic field changes. Uh, because of the uh, current that is being produced. That's the basic principle of Hall effect sensor, right? And then accuracy, if you see, um, Hall effect has uh, much higher accuracy, considering that with the resistor-based current sensing, the resistor tolerances and then corresponding next level circuit tolerances. Um, so this is moderate to high, but Hall effect current sensing is high. Linearity-wise, both 
are linear. Um, power dissipation wise, the biggest problem is based on the sense resistor value used, we have power dissipation across that resistor. So that is the major problem of uh, resistor based current sensing and this is where as we go to the high current applications uh, uh, resistor based current sensing cannot find its uh, usage whereas in Hall effect <coughs> based current sensing uh, as this is a contactless uh, um, sensing um, this uh, power dissipation doesn't uh, uh, come into the picture uh, especially uh, it doesn't affect the path where the current is flowing. So the, the, that is the biggest advantage when we go to the high power applications. And then cost wise, if you see, um, Hall effect sensors are costly compared to resistors that are used. So um, definitely resistor based current sensing is lower cost and Hall effect based uh, current sensing has higher costs. Uh, if we see the temperature dependence, as we talked before, um, the resistors and corresponding passive elements that are there around the rest two um, current sensing techniques are sensitive to temperature. They have their own tolerances. So, uh, temperature dependence is more um, in resistor based current sensing. So, the variations with temperature are higher compared to the Hall effect based um, current sensing. Even in Hall effect based current sensing, when we are using a Hall sensor, we have to see what temperature it supports. And <coughs> the corner cases of the temperature are very important what we mean by corner cases basically if a sensor is rated for minus 40 to 85 so around minus 40 degrees or plus 85 degrees um, characterizing the functionality of that particular sensor um, validating it thoroughly is very very important isolation so the biggest advantage of Hall effect based sensor it is internally isolated right um, whereas rest based uh, uh, Thing. you need to additionally include a, a specific isolation which again uh, has its own losses associated so that is one more advantage that is where Hall effect comes into picture and especially in the high speed applications if we see Hall effect sensors uh, in terms of applications um, whether it be um, a proper uh, or accurate readings that we require or <coughs> the kind of environment that is it is used um, definitely uh, goes beyond the resistor based uh, sensing so resistor based current sensing is restricted to simple applications commercial applications um, where we don't need that much of accuracy or the currents are much on the lower side whereas hall effect based current sensing can be used <coughs> in wide variety of uh, uh, applications especially uh, when we talk about the immunity to the current uh, uh, environment around it uh, mm, this Hall effect based uh, sensors are used and uh, um, the interference plays a crucial role uh, and disturbs the functionality of rest based current sensing so interference wise again uh, Hall effect based current sensing has its advantages. Uh, the, the only simple thing as we said, you uh, rest based current sensing is used in simple applications um, uh, and uh, you don't need too much of uh, uh, thinking about uh, how you place it. You know you either place it on the high side, you place it on the low side but and it com when it comes to the Hall effect based current sensing, the exact position of the sensor where you are placing it, how much uh, um, Hall sensor is able to detect the uh, magnetic field <coughs> around that area is very very important. You cannot have a Hall sensor where uh, uh, it cannot detect the full range of the current uh, and you expect uh, um, output out of it. So placing it and then also understanding the patterns of uh, Hall effect based sensor and uh, correspondingly writing your code uh, to uh, read and convert into a uh, uh, specific uh, corresponding current value is uh, mm, very crucial in Hall sensor. So this uh, one important point is the drop that is there in the resistor based current sensing uh, which actually leads to power loss and also um, <coughs> there is a voltage drop uh, in some crucial applications um, you cannot uh, have this. This 
um, Hall effect sensor, as we said, uh, it just works without affecting the actual uh, circuit, which is very, very important. So if you see overall, um, retro-based current sensing, Hall effect-based current sensing have their advantages and disadvantages, and especially depending on your cost requirement, complexities, um, the uh, environment where we have to use, we have to select uh, retro-based current sensing and Hall effect-based current sensing. In common embedded boards, simple low power embedded boards, resistor based current sensing is the um, uh, <coughs> technique to use. If you are going to a high power or environments where um, this is more prone to interference um, and high power related applications where we need more of isolation, Hall effect current sensing um, is the one to use.